All right, welcome back to another video. So today we've got a future star Tanganga player pick. Um, <laughs> it's like choosing between your daughter or your son for me because obviously I'm a Tottenham fan. I've actually got my Tottenham top on right now. Um, we're on the the one that left back's got on. Both both like good like good cards, and I'll walk us through what you've got to do. Right. So there's two two choices. Right. You've got the left back one, which has got medium high work rates. They both got the same stats, I believe, in in, in games as well. There's nothing nothing changes. It's literally just the position changes. So you've got the left back one that's got medium high work rates and a left foot, right? That's the preferred foot on the left back one, which is, I, I like that for me, it's, it's different. The right back one is high high work rates with a right foot. So if you're going to be using him as an attack on fullback or just a fullback in general, pick the one at right back, right? Because the high high work rates are going to be more catered to that. But if you're going to be using, maybe if you're going to position change him to centre back or maybe CDM in game, go with the left back one. For me, I'm going to be using the left back one, okay? I'm going to be going for the left back one. Um, but it looks like a very very good card, so we've got 92 pace, 84 dribbling, 86 defending, 87 physical and 82 passing, 2 touch game moves and a 3 star weak foot. And then the in game stats, he's got 87 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, I'm pretty sure that's the same pace as what Lacroix has on his future stars. Um, passing stats decent, he's got 88 short pass, 82 long pass. And then the agility and balance is okay for uh, a full back, like, I mean, man, man's, man's 5 foot 11, I, like, See the the build of Tangang in real life, like he looks like like sick too. He's fucking he's built like a shipwreck house. Um but he's got ninety three reactions, so that's good for like when the ball like bounces off someone, like we ping pong ball, and um he'll be fast directed. Uh defending stats, eighty eight defensive awareness, eighty eight standing tackle, eighty two slide tackle, eighty seven interceptions and seventy eight header and accuracy. He's got ninety seven jumping, eighty four stamina, eighty eight strength and eighty seven aggression player traits. He's got dives in the tackle trait, which is important. Um, for those the AI blocks and stuff, got that's that's what that comes under. Um, and he's got the team player trait. I'm gonna throw him in the team, and I'll be back in a second. Right, this is gonna be the team I'm playing that Jaffa Town can get in. So we're gonna be playing um, at left back to start off with, and then I'm gonna be position changing him and Luke Shaw, um, in game. So we're gonna be playing the four two three one. Uh, obviously he'll be left centre back, and then obviously we will be playing the four triple two as well. It will be left centre back as well. But um, that's gonna be me getting into some gameplay. We're gonna be playing some food champs. Right, here we go, first game. <laughs> Seven team of the year. Uh, bro, he's got two perfect. Oh my god! That's heavy, big son. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe the floor with Ronaldo. What a down shot. How fast is it? How fast is it? What's Gark, man? Uh, not much MGD. He's gonna be doing a review on Tanganga. Oh, look at the speed of him getting back. Oh. Harry Kane, let's go! I'm gonna get a long shot. Oh my. Mate, rumor has it, right? Tanganga. <laughs> it's got Ronaldo in his pocket. Tell me, mate. Ronaldo's in Tanganga's pocket. Yes, Tanganga! Stock in mid. Bro, holy! It's hot on the environment. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that tackle ref. Got the ball. Show me the replay. No balls. You won't. You won't show me the replay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fraud. Mike Dean's referee. That's unlucky. Not too bad. Hotel, Thiago. Bro, have you ever seen him in real life, mate? Man, built like a shipwreck house. He's actually fucking. He tanked out to the ball, he's like.
Tennis. Hackle, oh my god. Again. No, what's the team gonna be? I'm gonna mate, mate, mate. Does he, does he know Messi is not a cam? And Ganga to the rescue, love to see it. <gasps> and Ganga, where are you, mate? On Real Matez, GG's, nice jump. Is that Sterling or Messi? I'm gonna Messi, Messi, Messi. Right, overall thoughts on Tanga and Goat. So, we played him at centre back in game. Um, I know that's uh, against the r unwritten rules and stuff like that, but uh, he was decent. He was actually better at CDM than what he was at left back, or no, centre back, sorry. Um, so we played him, obviously, centre back, left centre back there, but what I did in game, um, in the second half of most games, was swap Chaluba and Tanganga and put Tanganga as the, the sitting DM, whilst Matez is my attacking DM. So he's very, very good at CDM. Um, if you wanted to start like a five at the back with him, but uh, centre back is very, very good as well. Like it's just that, that pace getting back is just it's it's unbelievable. I didn't really notice anything with like the the issues where the defensive awareness goes down when you play a full back at centre back. I think that only happens when you start them at centre back. Um, so like if I were to change it like this here, I think it would maybe affect the defensive awareness then. But I'm pretty sure if you start it like that there. And change in game, it doesn't doesn't affect it. Um, but my my plan, like literally, it literally felt like a mixture between Lacroix for the stars and Kante. Um, when he was playing in centre back, it was like Lacroix. When he was playing in CDM, he was like Kante. Right. Um, the only thing is, obviously, he, he can't shoot, so you, you don't want to be attacking with him. Um, and if you are gonna be playing in CDM, maybe put like a backbone on him just to boost the defending, physical, and passing. Has that, or I'll just put an engine, just something to boost the passing. If you're you're wanting to get the most out of his passing and stuff like that, there in CDM, he's very very good. He's good at winning the balls. Um, decent in the air as well. For what is he? Five foot eight, five foot eleven, five foot eleven, ninety seven jumping. Um, just a header accuracy isn't the greatest. Twenty eight seventy eight, but he cost one hundred and thirty k to complete. I'm gonna take a look at the prime options. So anyone in the prime that you can play a left back. And then change in the centre back. Cornet, no, he's got high high workers. Tierney's high high workers. Luke Shaw's high medium. Cancelo's high medium. Everyone's high medium or high high workers. The fact that they've given us a left back in the prem who's medium high workers, it's it's literally a, a sign that he should be played at centre back. Um, either that or else CDM. But I I would definitely recommend playing with CDM over than over centre back. Um, just because I think he, he he was a lot better in the CDM role. So if you wanted to like run it like whatever way your your team is right. Have a, something you can swap into full back, and then if you have that Chaloba card, then change him to centre back and put Tanganga at CDM. Tanganga is better at CDM than what he is at centre back. So, value for money, I think he's gonna get a 9 out of 10 because 130k isn't much compared to most other um, full backs in the, the Prem. Robertson UCL is 210k, you've got UCL Cancelo who's 160k and then you've got Timir Cancelo who is 800k but he, I mean, he can shoot and do everything um, he's sort of got a faster week from four to move, so we cannot compare him to him the value for money 9 out of 10 and Jarmory is going to get a 9 out of 10 as well obviously as a, a Taunton fan I'm going to enjoy this card um, I would only choose the full back the other the right back one if you're going to be using him like as an actual full back but the left back one is the one to be choosing because he's got medium high workers he's perfect for centre back or CDM um, he just hasn't, I feel like he hasn't got the, the stamina to be playing at the fullback because he's only got 84 stamina, he'll be busted by like the 70th minute. But uh, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, comment on which one you're going to choose. Let me know if there's any other future start player reviews you don't want me to do. Uh, we've done a review on like a 2.5mm uh, future start team in a video before this year, so make sure to check that out. And drop a wee sub to the channel and thank you for watching.